Comrades, I am Admiral Andre and welcome to Cold Waters. This will just be a single uh, mission here. I've just uh, been in the mood for this lately and I thought I might as well record this while I'm uh, playing it. So let's see what different options we have. I'm not going to say I'm very good at this game so we will probably get killed here but hey let's give it a go. Okay, so we have a few options here. There seems to be, let's see, how many? Ten of them. So I've seen somebody else play, I think it's the last one. There's a Soviet Typhoon class boomer. I think this is uh, like the Red October, basically. A very big, dangerous submarine that you have to hunt. But let's see, there's another one here that I saw. Uh, is it this one? I don't even know what a boomer is. Uh, I think that's probably the biggest submarine that they have. In any case, uh, satellite data has revealed that a Soviet boomer is lurking deep within its bastion, where it lies protected by layers upon layers of surface warships and hunter-killer subs. You must penetrate the bastion defenses, find that boomer and sink it, and obviously not die in the process. So let's have a look. Uh, I have to locate and sink any SSBN, so that's the big... Uh, missile launching nuclear submarines I think at least let's hope so I'm a captain of a submarine uh, if I don't know that then I'm pretty much doomed so also locate and sink escorts but those are not really so important so let's give it a go here uh, start okay so now we have some choices with the various submarines that we can use uh, let's just have a look so we've got the narwhal here and the skipjack Permit class, Sturgeon class, and then the big Los Angeles nuclear attack submarines. Let me just see here, do they all have the same weapons? I'm thinking here, well, they show it there, 48s. 48s, I think, are the old ones. Or are they? No. I guess they can all use more or less the same things. I want to use one of the older ones, a skipjack perhaps. Hopefully this Mark 48 is not those old 1960s torpedoes. I really can't uh, get anywhere with those. But uh, let's, let's see what it says. So accept. So this is the USS Scamp. So we are a little scamp that's crawling around, skulking around in the shadows. And uh, let's see if we can succeed. Hopefully they give us an option to outfit the weapons or do they come automatically i guess they do we have a new sonar contact bearing 52 designate sierra one and our depth okay that's not so important we can change all of that we are going very slowly there is a moderate surface duct and uh, so that means at least well, that's probably bad for us because they did say there will be some escorts and surface ships. So uh, that means there's going to be quite a bit of noise on the surface. Hmm. Where am I now totally mis misconstruing things here? It says a gentle breeze. So I guess that's not so much a problem. But the thermal layer is of course the big thing for us. That's moderate. So I think this will be quite good. We can use this to our advantage. So that's 168 feet. So we have to keep that in mind. Let's say 170 for short, shorthand. So I'm just going to say all hands man battle station. Now here we are in the skipjack, so this is in the scamp at least, and uh, pretty close to the bottom here. So we do have those very old torpedoes, or is this not? No, this is fine, this is fine. So let's just have a look. It's obvious that I'm not playing this game very often, but I was just in the mood today. So let's put the power up a little bit. This is also quite recent where they talk about making turns. But that's just the speed, basically. They also have these various uh, controls here that give us very fine control. Now, let's see. Do we have a target here or a contact? We do not. So, I'm thinking we are so low here, we must go above the uh, thermal layer. So, let's go up. So, that's about 170 feet. So, I just want to go a little bit above it. And uh, we should slow down. There we go. Cavitating is not good, but I think it's fine right now. Hey, we're all gonna die, but anyway. <laughs> this can be fun, you know? 
Okay, let's let's actually go all the way up. But uh, I just want to stick out our uh, masts here, our ESM mast. So 50 feet, I think, is more or less fine. And no, 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 stop the cavitating and just run silent. Okay, are we stable? Yes, we are. So I think at this point we can have a look above the surface. So just get the periscope up and uh, I'm wondering if we'll actually be able to see anything. Nothing. So they did say there was going to be some rain. What's that there? No, it was just a little glimmer there. Hmm, strange. Okay, well, there's no surface contact near us, so I can bring the scope down again. And let's just bring the masts up, so that would be 9 and 8. Detection threshold. I'm probably going to get us killed here very soon, but we still don't find anything. That's interesting. I'm thinking there must be no surface vessels then. Surely we would have seen it or either detected it with this mast now. There's the rain that they promised. Oh, good grief. All right, bring the masts down and full speed ahead and let's dive right now. This is the end. So they detected us, but we couldn't see them. I suppose it's our older technology here. Let's just get as low as possible, at least beneath that thermal duct now. Oh, good grief. All right, not that fast. Okay, drop the speed. I'm a reckless captain, just so you know. <laughs> okay, that's it. Bring us down. Don't cavitate. Do we see anything yet? Nothing. Okay, I hear a helicopter, so there is a ship somewhere. But it must be quite a distance away from us. Yeah, they're, they're having a listen there. Hmm. Well, we've successfully managed to move away, but I'm still waiting for that missile to come and get us. There we go, torpedo in the water, and where is it going? Probably directly to us. Yes, so okay, I'm gonna drop a noisemaker and we're gonna turn and we're gonna go straight up. Full speed. Cavitate or not, I don't care. No, you're not. No, you're not. Okay, not that far. Okay, stop the cavitating and stop the turn. That was a bad idea to have a listen. Stop the cavitating. Well, one of them is gonna get us. Oh no! Okay, drop a decoy. Okay, turn into it. Ooh, dangerous games. Oh no, 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 no. Decoy, I don't care if we use them all. Oh, we don't. Uh... No, it's got us. It's over. Not good. Well, have we managed to evade the one at least? So far. Let's see, where's the damage? Another one and we are dead for sure. Okay, increase speed. Well, our propulsion is damaged, so that's not going to work. But it doesn't seem that that one is locked on yet. It's going the other way. Another one in the water, has it? No, it's got us again. Come on. Silent. Where is that thing going? No, it's coming this way. Drop another one. 
these things are notoriously difficult to evade, but it is possible. Well, now we're in a crippled ship as well. What's that there? Seems to be another one. Okay, this whole having a peak was a terrible idea. Okay, bring us forward. Come on, come on. Oh, this is so close. It's definitely gonna get us. No! Okay, game over. I was too reckless. Sad face. Well, let's have another go. Just just a bit more cautious. Well, I guess the whole thing was that you were supposed to be cautious. That's why they said, uh, uh, abandon ship, uh, that uh, this is obviously the bastion here. You must penetrate the defenses. Hmm. So I was very careless. Okay, let's try again. And let's try with... Let's see, will this one be good enough? It's got some decoys. I like those. Narwhal class. Actually, let's go for the big one. Why not? And this is the actual USS Los Angeles. So hopefully we'll fare better in this one. Still, a v okay, now we have a weak thermal layer. 160 feet, so more or less in the same depth, but uh, the fact that it's weak is not so good. There's also a very weak surface duct. I think that has to do with the reflection of the sound, not with the actual noise of the surface. That's more the first one there. Oh well, let's close, but uh, let's keep it quiet this time. So I'm gonna go ultra quiet straight from the beginning, and this time we have a actual target here with a relatively good solution. This is obviously a surface one because it took us to the surface when I clicked on it, which is maybe a bit, uh, bit of a spoiler there. But I think let's see if we can get the signature identified. So we know this is going to have to be a ship. Now I just have to remember the keys for this. There we go. Just something that looks like that. Is that it? No. It's got to have the line there in the, the end. This is it, definitely. So this is a Udaloi, and I think I've encountered these before. Does this one have a helicopter? Yes, it does. So it is quite imperative that we get rid of it as soon as possible. Now, unfortunately, it's only 39 at this point. We need a much better solution than that. Because it's on the surface and because there's only a very weak uh, turbulence, I'm going to leave it on passive. I'm not going to uh, put an active ping on this thing. Let's just have a look. Search I think is fine, but I do want it to go to the surface, so the depth is going up. And 44. I think we have to wait. Someone is pinging us as well from somewhere to the south of the Udaloi. That's not so good. Let's turn a bit towards uh, the target and see if we can get a bit of a better solution there. 49%. I might have to risk it because they're already searching for us. It's 51% now. 53 so we can say with relative confidence that it's, that it's right there. Okay, stop the turn, and if we just keep everything nice and stable, we should can uh, maintain the wire there. So, okay, send it out. So no sudden turns, we might lose the whole wire thing. Okay, so this is the submarine that's pinging us. Let's see if we can find out what this thing is. Uh, let's have a look. Can make out a weak line there. Could it be this one, the Kashin? It's very possible that that's also a ship. What does this one look like? It's a bit smaller. I can't tell if there's another line right there, but it looks like there might be. 
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna send another one. And we're gonna keep this just on the default because I'm not certain that that's a ship, but I am suspecting that it is. So let's just get this thing away. Maybe we'll get lucky and get rid of two of the escorts here. Especially that Udaloy. That's not a good thing. Okay, the S2 contact was much further away from us. I can speed it up a little bit. I think it's F9. Yes, that's uh, basically just increasing time there. Mm, it was too far away there. Okay, let's bring us underneath this thermal uh, layer just to see if we can find any submarines here. It might be that the sound is uh, reflecting here. Okay, I'm just going to speed it up again. Okay, that should do. Any new contacts? I don't think so. Okay, there we go. One of them lost. Oh well, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm just going to uh, release us from ultra quiet. This might be a bad thing. Or should I keep us? No, let's stay a little bit longer. Okay, just get the ship level here. Let's see if our uh, torpedo is having any luck. I think it will very soon pick up this Udaloy. Hopefully one is enough. Hmm. We could still control it. Come on. Gun, fire control, weapon acquired. Good, there we go, so it's got it. Get some bad hombres, like Trump said. Of course, these are not Mexicans. And there's another of those airplanes probably dropping sonar buoys or something in the water to try and find us. This is a very dangerous area. I've never never played this scenario before. So it's much better to just stay quiet here. Okay, come on, find this thing now. They're looking for us. There, go. Got you. Alright, so that's one of the real big threats. I wonder if the helicopter was actually on it when we sank it. Probably. Yes, there we can clearly still see it. Can I select it? There we go. Alright, gone with you at last. It's one of them. But the other one I think is too far away. So now we can have relative confidence that there isn't anyone near us. So I'm going to release us from ultra quiet and just get this whole thing speeding up. But I want to take us as deep as possible. Just so we don't cavitate here. That was obviously not a good thing. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. People are probably thinking, what am I doing here? Are you you're gonna drive us into the seafloor here? I don't think I have actually hit the bottom yet, but I don't want to either. Now, the other thing is we just need to hope that the seabed stays quite level here. But, okay, let's speed up. Take us to maximum speed. No, okay, not that far. Do we see anything? Well, it's too noisy right now. Okay, I'm going to just slow us down here again, let's say about 10 knots, more or less, and then I'm going to speed up until I find another target, just uh, to save you the monotony. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, there is another one and they're actually cavitating so strange. Well, we know that probably is there for a submarine, but they were cavitating probably for the, the torpedo there, but it wasn't near them. Unless, of course, again, their solution wasn't that accurate, which it was not. Do we see anything? Well, we see something. Let's see if we can identify what it was. Uh, 
that looks like it. It's a Delta Three. This is probably our target. Where is it? Well, we've lost it now. No, we haven't. There it is. So it's quite far away. Well, let's see if we can catch up to this thing. Speed up again, but not all the way. I'm hoping that weak thermal layer will at least help us against the airplane. Okay, the solution is now 57, so it's going up quite fast here. Semi-quiet, and someone is looking for us. Okay, speed up. Well, we got someone. That was uh, obviously our torpedo there that we lost the wire for. So it actually wiped out one of the targets, but it wasn't the one that we thought. Uh, the S2, which disappeared. Well, how many do we have left? Hmm, interesting. Well, that's a good development. At least doing better this time. Nothing on the signature? Well, we have to slow down a lot before we can make something out here. Speed up. Nothing. Hmm. Must be that they're quite far away from us then. Okay, I think, uh, let's just see, what was that? A noisemaker. Or is that one of the sonar buoys there? I don't think there's anyone behind us. We're not picking anything up, but let's just make some turns here. Is this, I think that's what they call the crazy Ivans from the uh, Hunt for Red October. Just to check if there's something behind us. Anything? Nothing. Oh well, let's continue on course. Better safe than sorry here. I don't even know where we're going. We don't even have an exact sort of plan here. I'm just hunting until I find something. How close are we? No, we're still okay. See, there's definitely, I think that's the airplane dropping these things in the water. It's looking for us. But it's looking in the wrong place, which is fine by me. Okay, speed up a little bit. Make turns for one, zero, nine. Okay, it's taken us out of time warp here. There's another one. Each, each time they drop something in the water, the time warp drops back to normal speed but that's fine we need to know if something is happening of course I couldn't see above the water and I'm not going to have a look with the uh, periscope here so that was a bad idea hmm this is gonna be quite a hunt here I think Let's just not cavitate. That is the worst thing we could do. Or make a knuckle. Okay, there's a helicopter very close. So we know there's another ship here. That's probably another Udaloy. Ultra quiet. Okay, they actually dropped a torpedo here. Oh no, it's probably going to find me again. Sometimes I get lucky and evade them, but other times it's not so good. Con maneuvering, making turns for five. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. No, Zero. okay, it's coming directly Nine. towards us. Where's this decoy thing? Drop it. Now I have to speed up. We can't be hanging around here Ten. with such a thing on our tail. Let's see if we can get above the thermal layer, even if it's weak. 
usually those things are very focused on their specific depth but uh, unless we get out quickly they're gonna find us uh, cavitating is irrelevant now we just need to get away no nope, you see it's already found us drop another one Now I'm actually reversing here. Maybe that's not the worst idea actually. No you're not, no you're not. Come on noisemaker. Reverse. We're too close to this thing. No, 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 no. Okay, forward, 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 forward. Full speed, full speed. Emergency. Too bad. Time for those reckless maneuvers. Uh, it's gonna find us. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not gonna get lucky today. All we have to do is wait until this thing self destructs. Luckily, there's only the one that's hunting us. Passing 200 feet. Come on, drop another one. Okay, stop the cavitating. Ultra quiet. Hopefully the noise makers will help, but can I actually reload with uh, one of the mosses here? No, it's got us again. I'm gonna use up all of this decoy stock. This is not good. Go back up. Actually turn into it. There's the shadow of the helicopter, which is a bit of a giveaway. Is it gonna... No, 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 no. Okay, it's timed out there. Now we need to get away because they know we are here. Okay, go back to ultra quiet and just take us on a different heading. Actually, when we're going on ultra quiet, it's so slow. At least one of the good things with this moss is that uh, you can fire it in a specific direction and it will draw out any enemies that are hiding because they'll think that's you. But now, come on, can I not find any other targets here? Well, there's another one. Is this the S2? It is. And that is definitely a ship. So let's just go back to our sub here. And uh, fire this one to the surface, please. And I think we can just leave it on passive and just go. Just go. Just see if you can get lucky there. Well, that was a very costly thing in terms of decoys, but I'd rather use them all than get hit again. I don't want to do an active sonar at this point. Okay, it's got it. It's quite close to us, actually. Undoubtedly, that's where the helicopter was coming from. But not for long. Let's see, can I identify this thing? Just take me to ships. It's probably gonna be dead before I can identify it. That's it, it's a Krivak. Well, it's noisy, that's a good thing. And it's dead. Okay, good. Now, is there anyone else around here? Well, there's an aircraft nearby. I'm sure they'll tell us if we've completed the mission. Now, I don't want to hang around here because, again, they'll be looking for us. They know we're here. So let's just bring it as... 
about 20 knots. Actually, a good thing could be to go near to the sinking ship because that should be creating a lot of noise and uh, hopefully that will mask our signature a little bit. But let's fire this moss thing. I'm gonna send it up that way. Let's see if we can draw out anyone. This thing actually went right through us, but anyway. Let's have a look. That's an, at least a distraction for them. So we want to be going away from that thing now. There's our prize, but I want more prizes. I think we should probably go above the uh, thermal layer here. Yes, that duct thing is not about the surface noise. It is closely related to the thermal layer. Mm, okay, yes, I think let's go up, but uh, slow down in the process. About 10 knots for now. Actually, want to go over the sinking ship. Passing 400 feet. Not too much. No one is going for the moss yet, so that means there's probably not many enemies nearby. Passing 300 feet. Passing 200 feet. Okay, we're above the thermal layer now. And our victim is right there. I don't see anyone else yet. There's only the aircraft that's nearby. Can I even get rid of that thing? Which one of these is the aircraft uh, missile thing? I think it's that one. <laughs> you can tell I'm an expert. The aircraft missile thing. Well, the, the crew knows what I mean. They're used to it by now. <laughs> I think it is just that aircraft now, but I wouldn't even know where to, to fire this thing. I think we're going to have to risk going up and just having a look. We've gotten rid of everything near us now. Let's just slow down to five knots again. Actually, ultra quiet. Nope, that target thing is not luring anyone out. Gun maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Too much. Well, if they don't know we're here, they know now. Okay, bring up the periscope. Let's have a look. I don't think I'm gonna see anything. Detection threshold, they know we're here now. Nope, there's nothing. Didn't see any aircraft either. Well, I guess we could leave combat now. We have no contact and ready to leave the area. But before we do, let's just bring out the uh, other masts. Anything? Nothing. Well, the fact that they're not shooting at us is probably a good indication that there is no one else here. Yes, well, I guess that will conclude it. Let's leave and see if we did what we had to do. Uh, we sunk, sunk. Oh, there were two tangos that we didn't get. Hmm. Now I'm wondering what is a tango? Well, we got the Delta 3. I think that was the main target. It doesn't now actually tell us if we, um, you know, completed our primary objective here. I'm wondering. Oh, well, it was a bit of fun, you know. So uh, maybe some other time we can try one of these other missions. But uh, yes, that's that, I guess. We're still alive at least the second time around. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this bit of diversion and that you are having a fantastic weekend. And see you in another episode. Have a nice day.